that's how this trash sack emergency. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gone. We are Diane and Craig also known as Shorty and Pop. This is our story about sailing into retirement. As a newly retired couple who loves travel, the ocean, and sand between our toes, we aren't ready to settle down just yet. So we replaced the typical rocking chairs with a sailboat. We, along with our stowaway Aussie, Pirate Ann Bonnie, live aboard our 45-foot Catalina Morgan sailboat sailing out of sight so that we can take our time exploring the oceans and the exotic locations it can take us to. I'm about ready to go and uh, that means there's so all the major systems are pretty much ready to go but we got a lot of odds and ends to uh, tidy up. One of them is storage. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we decided we only need one head. The front head, we're gonna take the, the toilet out and turn that whole space into storage. So this is what we've currently got. We did put a hanging rack in here, but we got stuff stacked on the floor And behind everything, we've got a toilet. If we can pull the toilet out, it'll give us a, uh, a flat spot to mount either some cabinets or some drawers or at the very minimum, be able to stack stuff and secure it in a flat place. But that's gonna be probably another six cubic feet. Probably. of storage space and uh and we think that's the thing to do well let's go ahead and pull it out <laughs> now we get to take some proposals of this yeah. every project becomes a disaster zone These are the fun ones. Du, 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 du. It's porcelain. Well, we got an outdoor John now. I'll let you be the first to use it. I remember I this PVC molds to that. Yeah, this just lag bolted down. Success? Out. Yay! Yeah. There we go. All that will be storage. I don't think we'll miss a second head because we haven't used it in the months that we've been living on here. And storage is vital. So I think it's the best. And if we ever decide we need a second head, we can always reinstall the toilet. What are we doing now? Uh. So the toilet's out, and the through holes that feed water, raw water to flush the toilet, and then the the flush back to the uh, holding tank. We've got all those valved off, but we're gonna go ahead and plug them so in case that anything fails or somebody accidentally uh, turns the wrong through, they're, I mean, they're tied off, but just as a double safe, we're gonna plug them so that we don't, ever have a risk of accidentally uh, running water into the boat. Okay. 
we're going to cap them here so that everybody can see it and know what's going on. Stinky water. Yeah, this. Uh, trash. This Sick. is. Just a second. Trash sack emergency. The reason we're not double clamping it is because it's behind the cutoff valve. It is locked in a closed position. I have made a template to make, to put a little piece of carpet down in that new storage area where it will cover up the hole and also give something for stuff to kind of adhere to where it's not as slippery. So I made the template. Now I have returned it upside down. So I'm marking it on the back with the Sharpie. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Yep. Good job, Shorty. Thank you. Now I'll get the sticky stuff. Put some sticky stuff. I can find it. The toilet's gone. And we have gained that storage area. And so now we'll repack it and see how it works for us. We have potty problems. What did you do to the toilet? Make it stop working? I didn't do anything. My hands are clean. What we're doing is working down in there. I don't know if you can see that way down in there. Got the flashlight down? Yes, I did. We got drips. We replumbed all this stuff, or I should say I did. I replumbed all this stuff and it's coming from the aft head. And this is a diverter valve down here. And one position sends it overboard and one position sends it to the uh, holding tank. And all this white PVC flexible hose, it seems to be the problem. It's dripping, it leaks very slowly. But I think the problem is that PVC flexible hose is so hard that it doesn't compress well. And that's not what was on there when I replumbed it. What I, the rubber hose with the steel braiding, and I can show you that in a little bit. That's what was there, but it's like $18 a foot. And so this stuff was like $7 a foot. And I thought that it would actually be more flexible, but it turns out it's not. And it's so hard, it doesn't, the, the clamps, I don't think get it tight enough because I've got those clamps tight. And, uh, but there's three hoses going in there. And we weren't sure which one was leaking. And for all I know, it's all of them. But something that we've got here, Diane bought for us, it's, it's a Klein boroscope and it's, whoops, it's stuck. It's got a long fish on it and it's all flexible and it hooks up to your phone and I'm going to turn this on. Okay. We got it working now. So you see it's showing a picture of you. 
Mm -hmm. And we'll turn the light on it. Now we show a better picture of you. <laughs> so what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to go down in there and see if we can see where that lake's coming from. And now I'm actually, we're actually recording that on the phone too. There. I'll turn that brightness up. I'll try to. I can zoom later. There when it drip. There when it drip. So it's dripping right there, and as you can see, it's it's dripping out of this edge. I'll turn that brightness up even more. We are dripping out of the edge where the tubing connects, running down the edge of the hose, and then dripping off of that hose clamp. So that's where at least one of the leaks are coming from. My guess is they're all, that PVC is so hard that it just won't, the hose clamps won't pull it down good. Uh, and my guess is if one of them were leaking, maybe more than one was leaking. And if they weren't, they probably would at some point in time. So I think that that PVC hose needs to be replaced that's how this one one of the times that this borescope has really came in handy because now we know where that lake's coming from and there's no way you're getting your head down in there to look at it well it's time for another project uh there's i want to show you what's going on with our uh, head right now interesting kind of threw me for a loop there for a little while. This is what's happening. So I'm going to go, I'm going to flush the toilet and oh yeah, by the way, the, the inlet water is turned off. So no new water's coming in. So I flush the toilet. It's empty. But as you, as you can see, this water slowly comes back up. There it goes. See it's filling up. And like I said, there's no there's no new water coming in because the inlet is valved off. So this is discharge line that's that's flowing back into the toilet after you st stopped flushing. Similar to a backflow valve, this is what I've this is what I've learned uh, from the Jabsco website. There's a uh, it's not a check valve. They don't call it a check valve, but basically that's what it does. It's it's called a joker valve. And I'm going to be replacing that joker valve to see if that's the cause. Today, we are tackling more plumbing uh, issues. So the, the head filling back up after you flush it, it's back flowing. What is a joker valve? It's like a ch back flow preventer. You know what? What? This hose is hard. Or it is an old? I think so. Uh, petrified? One of the indications that a hose is old mm -hmm. is that it's brittle. Yeah. Hard. And that's actually breaking as I pry it off. Ew. That hose comes right up from that's the bathroom wall. That's that white hose right there. Maybe you can see it better right there. That's the white hose right there. It comes out. 
and goes up through this anti-siphon valve right there. So if we're going to replace that hose, we're going to have to pull it. We'll have to pull the, we don't want to just jerk the hose out. We want to take a tag line through there so that we can pull the new hose back through. Are you, are you going to update us? We taped this fish tape to the old hose before we pulled it out. And then we put the new hose, we taped it to the fish tape and used the fish tape to pull it back in. And it was really easy. Something needs to be easy. So now we got the new hose in place. I'm the cameraman. And I don't do a very good job at it either. Now Craig's down in the engine room. And he's going to connect the other end of the water tube. Is that going to fit? Yep. Follow our adventures at Sailing Out of Sight on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.